All right, this series is going to cover um, targeting systems because if there's one thing that uh, people really can make or break a game with, it's the targeting and how effective it is at doing its job. So, um, you know, a lot of games will implement various ways of targeting and some are effective and some aren't. Uh, the first example that comes to mind is in World of Warcraft uh, with the Legion expansion. They uh, changed the targeting, the camera system in it, and it's it's got awful for uh, targeting. Uh, one minute you'll be targeting someone like this, and there will be all kinds of guys up in melee range. You go to hit target, and it you know targets somebody off in Andromeda Galaxy. So um, they need to do some work. So this series is going to more or less cover the you know various cases that you're going to deal with. Whether it be um, you know, you're looking directly at someone, or they're behind you and you want to target them, or you're not quite looking at them but you still want to target them, or you're you know trying to precisely target. If I can do this, um, you want to precisely target that guy back there rather than you know target this guy up in front. Um, keep in mind that you know this this little right click zoomy thing I'm not done implementing it's kind of sloppy right now but um, yeah so it's going to more or less cover a lot of cases I guess you could say for how you want to target and uh, the, I'll, I'll be adding more and more to it because as it stands right now I actually want to add in uh, right now we got three cases that it checks. It checks for line of sight uh, with just a straight raycast like this um, from the camera. Um, it checks for dot product. Whoops, not not that one. Uh, it checks for dot product, which is kind of like a, are you facing that way? Um, and it you know checks for radial proximity, like so. So, uh, but what I want to actually implement is uh, slightly different um, on maybe the dot product because there are a lot of times when your camera will be facing over here but your character is facing there and it's going to target this. Or in this case here, you know, your character might be slightly turned this way but you want to get that guy over there. So I'm thinking of adding in maybe a fourth one that will shoot out um, maybe a capsule or something like that that would prioritize that before dot product so and then maybe save the uh, line trace targeting for when you're only zoomed in so I think that would probably be a little bit more efficient I'll uh, probably change that at some point in the near future and it'll be at the end of the little tutorial series so what this is not going to cover will be uh, the individual, you know, nodes and you know, going through every single. Ignore all this. Um, I'm not going to go through every single, you know, item uh, linking, variable naming. I'm not going over all of that. This is more or less going over a workflow. It's going to achieve the same goal. Um, because you know every project's different, every setup's different, um, but this is the overall you know goal that you want to have is to have this functionality. So yeah, um, let's check out the series and you might learn something from it. I might learn something from it, but uh, yeah, but make sure to let me know if you see anything that can be improved or. Or anything like that. You can just leave questions or comments. Um, probably be best to do it on the actual forum post, which I'll put in the video description. Thank you.